Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's been a little while since I've done a video. I actually wasn't sure I was gonna keep making them, but I got some cool stuff and thought I'd show it off and have a few new subscribers. So thought they must enjoy something. So um, we'll give this a shot. Got a few different things today. This isn't really everything I've gotten since my last haul video. It's just some recent stuff and some cool stuff. Uh, so if you don't like part of it, just skip around and you can get to the stuff you do like. Um, I will start off with a couple of movies I picked up, a couple Blu-ray. First is Justice Society World War II. Um, this was an excellent DC animated movie, and it's got a great uh, short uh, of Kamandi, so um, highly recommend it. Then I also picked up the Sphere, or Sphere um, movie it came out in the 90s. Uh, I remember going to the theater and seeing it. And I know it's based on a, a Michael Crichton novel, and I couldn't remember much about it. So I was really kind of curious about it again and wanted to check it out. It's uh, it's not that good. But anyway, uh, that's my Blu-ray pickups. I do have some Funko Pops. I know not you're not not everyone's interested in it, but here they are anyway. Uh, Godspeed from the Flash show. Excellent looking figure. Um, then I got the White Vision uh, from WandaVision. Glad to find that at a Walmart. Um, was really wanting to find uh, Wanda, but haven't seen her yet. So hopefully soon. Um, and I've also, I've been picking out the Turtles. I came across Splinter at Target. So that was a fun thing to find. And then while at Target, they started putting out these. And this is... One of my favorite movies from my childhood, The Goonies. Um, they actually had uh, five different figures. We um, got Mikey and Brand and Sloth. Um, I was looking and walked away and came back and some of the other ones were already gone. Uh, so I picked up what I could get that day. Uh, and of course, I have to track down some others, so... Um, also, recently, I came across a store in our state that um, has comics and a lot of retro, older collectibles and uh, picked up a few things that caught my eye. First is a carded Star Trek The Next Generation figure, Wesley Crusher. Um, I used to have a lot of these figures because I was a big Star Trek fan. Um, and then recently, my wife and I watched The Big Bang Theory and, of course, Will Wheaton's on that show. And the figure kind of um, is, is part of the plot, so I thought it was just kind of a fun thing to find, um, and, and cheap, you know, a carded figure from the 90s, so it was a pretty cool thing to find. And then also, um, something that caught my eye were these E.T. glasses from 1982. This one here, um, comes from the Army and Air Force Exchange Service, uh, AFES, I think is what it's called. And then that one's in amazing condition. And then this one here is a glass from Pizza Hut. If you can make it out. So um, it's not in as good of condition as the one on the right, but um, I just thought it was fun. I mean, how often do you find E.T. merchandise from 1982. Of course, the owner asked me if I was a big E.T. fan. I said, well, I like E.T. I'm not the, the hugest fan. I just thought they were kind of cool. Well, he showed me some other stuff, including this carded eraser, E.T. jumbo eraser, that, yeah, trademark, came out in 1982. So um, just kind of fun um, pickups uh, from this store. So pretty excited to find something kind of unique uh, for my collection. I did pick up some graphic novels and a couple omnibus. So uh, and here they are. Uh, first, I got Deceased Dead Planet, an another great entry in the Deceased series by Tom Taylor. Uh, just excellent story. Just absolutely love this universe that was created. Gideon Falls, Volume 6, um, great, into the wonderful story, may upgrade this one, uh, I'm not sure, uh, we'll see as it gets closer um, 
to those deluxe editions coming out. Um, Suicide Squad Bad Blood by Tom Taylor, also very good. Um, kind of different. I haven't read a lot of Suicide Squad, but it just went into like this whole different place. So uh, very good, very unique, uh, a lot of fun. And then the first Omnibus, I got all new Wolverine. Um, this was an upgrade. I, I don't always upgrade stuff, but um, this is one of my favorite runs and just wanted to have it all in one um, nice oversized format. All right, and then lastly is the Flashpoint Omnibus. And this is something I have wanted for a while. I um, many times almost picked up the different trade paperbacks and I just knew one day it was going to get an, an Omni. So I just held off and uh, very pleased to finally have that. So uh, one last uh, really cool thing to show you. Um, I got one sketch in recently, and that is a Zoom Reverse Flash by Scott Collins. And um, of course, he was artist on the Jeff Johns run, and um, been wanting something from him for quite a while. And he had this for sale on his Instagram, and uh, jumped on it a while back. And uh, very happy to have it. Very, uh, very cool piece. So. Uh, anyway, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate everyone that's been watching my videos and subscribing. Um, try to throw out some more con content in the coming weeks. Um, and as always, uh, thanks again. Uh, give me a like and subscribe if you made it to the end.